Good evening and welcome to India's election news headquarters and we are very very proud of that. It's a lot of hard work. 69 days of the election season. We are right at the top of the ratings and also the buzz in the social media. Over 1000 hours of uh, election coverage bringing you the fastest updates and all the breaking news straight from the heart of the action. That's right. Now during this election process which has been path breaking in more ways than one we've brought to you state of the art technology armed with the new age team of broadcast professionals we are giving you a whole new digital broadcast experience now interestingly anand over the past 69 days that you've been talking about some of the issues and subjects that we here at times now have picked up have been trending nationally they've created a massive impact on twitter so over the next half hour or so we are going to be bringing you how this election broadcast has been brought to you here on times now and really what the social media impact has been all about starting with this beautiful starlit map that you <laughs> see behind us let's just tell you what it's about now this is showing you the activity on twitter the impact that these elections have had on twitter we're talking about 56 million tweets anand and that's the activity from the 1st of january that's being mapped here 1st of january till date 56 million tweets only on election related issues on twitter that's the activity that you've seen and it's far away from the southeast of asia to the middle east and further beyond that people from all across the world have been tweeting on the elections and even right now they are tweeting because the hashtag May 16th with Ornab is trending nationally. We'll get you a Twitter map of that in just a bit. But these are the heat signals. What do they mean? Well, if you see the saffron colors, that's belonging to BJP, Narendra Modi, keywords. The, the, the blues are for Rahul Gandhi and the Congress and the greens are for Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party. So that's the activity they have witnessed from the 1st of January till about somewhere early April. We'll also play out what's happened in the last one month and how things have changed. But that's just in a bit. But first up, here's all the hard work that we have put to in the making of Times Now as India's election news headquarters. saw the largest democracy in the world come together for the mother of all elections. And Times Now was there. We have with us Mr. Sabir Ali. Mr. Sabir Ali, are you officially joining BJP? <laughs> Don't you think Congress by giving you Lok Sabha tickets from Nanded has invited a lot of criticism at the national level? It's a very conscious decision and please don't try to rake up such issues. Bringing you every moment, every story, every detail of the biggest news event. Under the campaign India 2014, Times Now launched a whole new set of primetime shows. making it the default choice for every viewer. After detailed planning for over a year and almost two months of construction, right from the 1200 square feet of seamless video wall. Thank you very much. Welcome Prakash Jadekar to you first. You've seen the poll. In our studios and Nandita's... To state-of-the-art technology that brought reporters on the ground right into our studios. Abracadabra, here you go Nandita. Thank you very much for joining me. There you are. Of, of all the parts of the election show, this is the part that I actually have begun getting getting hooked on to. First Priyanka and now Sonia. The Gandhis are out in full force campaigning in Amethi. Times the, Now presented candidate. news in an all new avatar. Good evening and welcome to the Poll of Polls show and the big numbers. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, be with me, be with the Times Now team, 6 a.m. live on election day, 16th of May. 
Now, you heard Arnab there talking about India's election news headquarters. And the one thing that he's been really excited about, Anand, is hologram technology, which we have used. And we've been bringing our guests and our reporters right here into the studio through virtual reality. Well, every time he says abracadabra, yes. somebody surfaces, isn't it? So let's me, let me try that today and see if I say abracadabra and who do we get? Well, abracadabra. And uh, there you go. We've got Rahil Khushid of Twitter India joining us. Hi, Rahil. I know, yeah, you know, we've beamed you up into our studios right from the Congress headquarters, but we are here to talk about social media and the impact it's had on the elections this time around. Tell me, as somebody who's, who's, who's tracking news and politics is on Twitter, were you expecting 56 million tweets around the elections, the Indian elections this time? Oh, absolutely. It's been fascinating to watch this entire election unfold on Twitter since January itself. If you let, if you look at the data as it sort of as we visualized it, we've, we've been sort of uh, captured. We've been stunned by it. Uh, we've had about 56 million tweets. This election has outdone, say, for example, the Winter Olympics that just concluded in Russia, right? Mm. As a, the, a live event in comparison, a global live event in comparison. What's amazing is that uh, all sorts of people, uh, like our users are basically, their politicians, their political parties, their uh, influencers like yourself, the media, and uh, the Aam Aadmi, so to speak, they've all taken to Twitter to lead the platform, to steer the platform right to the center of the political conversation uh, in India. It's but, been fascinating to watch that transition. But, you know, Rahil, you're talking about the kind of impact that it's had on Twitter users. What about the political parties themselves? What about the candidates? How much of an impact do you think this Twitter activity and people really joining social media platforms have had on the parties, their brand management and their candidates? Rahil? We've seen a lot of innovation. We've seen a lot of innovation on the platform. Uh, take any party or take any candidate who is represented on the platform. You've, we've seen a Twitter first strategy. We've seen them uh, break news. We've seen them steer the media agenda. We've seen them uh, engage with their uh, constituents. We've seen them influence the political discourse as far as Twitter is concerned. Take any engagement metric uh, and you will have Twitter at the forefront of that metric. Ta take it the amount of content uh, created. Take it the uh, engagement with that content. Take it breaking news. Take it any any other metric that you have it and you'll see that Twitter users have basically outdone themselves as far as uh, this election is concerned yes. as, as far as the number of tweets the number of uh, posts that they've you've seen you've seen the top 10 tweets right yeah uh, such in selfie for example is uh, number one mr. Modi selfie is number two yes that goes on to tell you that the language spoken on Twitter is essentially the language sp spoken by the young in India it's been it's been amazing to watch that yes it has been and and, and the impact in future will be greater isn't it Rahil Khushi, thanks a lot for talking to us and we're going to let you go. Abracadabra, there you go. Thanks for talking to us. And uh, we had Rahil Khushi speaking to us and he talked about the top tweets. But let's now take a look at what caused the buzz. Who's taken the bulk of the share yes. as far as these 56 million tweets are concerned? Yeah, what's interesting, Anand, is that this was really a personality-driven kind of an election campaign. You know, whether or not the Congress was trying to play that down, the fact is that they were looking at Rahul Gandhi being projected as a leader. And as far as the NDA or the BJP specifically is concerned, there was no question about who was really Lord leading you know the Twitter activity the Facebook activity have a look at uh, this uh, you know this is the parties this is the number of tweets you're looking at a whopping six million here but, but, but you know what when you say six million to the BJP you also have to talk about how much yes. individual people uh, you know garnered and Narendra Modi overall just Narendra Modi got about 11.1 million tweets that that's the number of tweets that he got that is 20% of all election related tweets Tina and and right Rahul Gandhi is, uh, you know, far, far, far behind as far as the numbers, perhaps yes. because he doesn't have his own Twitter handle. That's exactly it. And, you know, like the point you were making about Modi also holds very true for Arvind Kejriwal because we saw about 8 million tweets or so for the Aam Aadmi Party. Mm. But you can see here 5 million for just Arvind Kejriwal alone. And that tells you the kind of clout this man has on social media with the youth, people who've been using the social media platforms. Coming up with lots more of these numbers for you.
And now to what uh, Rahil actually touched yes. upon, the top 10 tweets. He, and we are not going to put them in any particular order, but we just look at some of them. He mentioned the one uh, that he talked about, Sachin, Sachin, Tendulkar, yes. Sachin Tendulkar, isn't it? And it happened coincidentally on the 24th of April, where he said, it's my birthday, I have voted, have you? And, and that was an important statement going out from people like Sachin, and that perhaps has got a reaction to why Mumbai turned out in large numbers towards the second towards half of the, the day, yes. isn't it? And, uh, uh, about 10% up from the previous time. Not so great, but mm. then we, we, did, we Mumbai Kas did outdo themselves yeah, as well as Yeah, that's a good point concerned. there, Anand, because by about three in the afternoon, you saw the numbers. Okay, this was the other one that Rahil was talking about. This, of course, that very controversial one, the mm. selfie that Narendra Modi had posted, remember, with that uh, Kamal Kafool right in front of his chin, led to a lot of controversy, but one of the top ten tweets, and that's huge when we're talking about 56 million tweets. This was a vote for up. They wanted to create an up wave. Kiran Bedi also wanted to go out and say that I want to share that, uh, you know, why I'll vote for Mr. Narendra Modi. She's batting for the BJP as we got up towards the, you know, end up, uh, run up to the elections. She was trying to be neutral and, you know, non-partisan, but then clearly moved towards uh, BJP and Mr. Modi. And that was another tweet that worked. Subramanian Swami also, you know, we just pick up the fifth one, uh, yes. which is where he says, uh, will Mamata Banerjee apologize to Narendra Modi now? This was all around the portrait and the money around portrait selling and what happened with Sarda Group. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of fire and also the mention of what Absolutely. happened on the news our debate. Yes, that's right. He asks where is Arnab and that's really important because uh, as we've been saying throughout this election coverage, uh, Times Now has been leading the way as far as social media platforms are concerned. Okay, so right at the top of the show, we brought you a heat map of Twitter activity. And remember, we told you it was the activity related to political parties, candidates, specific names. And it was 56 million tweets in all, starting from the 1st of January up until the 14th of May. Now, this one, Anand, is different. What does it tell us? Well, this is from the 6th of May. 6th of April, beg your pardon, till the 14th of May. And the biggest, uh, you know, like I said, the legend codes, if you look at the colors, this is, uh, you know, the saffron colors are for the BJP. Uh, the blue is for Congress. And the greens is for Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party. Those are the kind of activity. And if you see the greens on the way in, on, on the last, over the last one month, in terms of the bulk of, uh, you know, social media or Twitter activity is concerned. And also, focus on the areas. This is this is Mumbai and, where, you know, thereabouts. You're, you're here at Bangalore, Chennai. You're looking a lot of activity happening in the national capital and over there even in West Bengal, Bhubaneswar and also the smaller cities. You have people on social media not limited only to the top 10-12 cities of the country yes. but also across into the smaller cities, so, you know, across spread across states, you have people getting on board Twitter. So there is a lot of impact to social media. Look at, look at the, you know, if you look at Jammu and Kashmir and if you look at the, you know, North. Even Punjab. Yeah, yes. would, you, would you expect this kind of, you know, activity on Twitter from these regions? That's what it's breaking the myth that social media has actually penetrated far and wide. Look at even at Arunachal right next to you over your shoulder. There far east Arunachal also is, is active on Twitter. Absolutely and the point that you made very interesting in fact uh, that uh, you're certainly seeing lesser activity on this map because as Anand said we're looking at a shorter time period here. This is only from April to May but the major difference really being you're seeing fewer of those green dots. Yes, fewer of the green dots. Even here you, if you, if you look at the United Arab Emirates and further up in the Middle East there is activity. They're not only looking like winning the race to 7 RCR, they won the race as far as Twitterverse is also concerned. BJP and the party storming the social media. If you were to talk about that aspect, 1st of January, they were uh, somewhere around 286,000 tweets. But around the 12th of May, they had jumped to more than 488,000 tweets. That's a 70% jump, Tina. Yes, and let's take a look at uh, Narendra Modi specifically as well. Uh, you know, 70% um, jump there uh, for the BJP, but for Narendra Modi's personal Twitter handle that's about a 28% jump as well because uh, he started with about 30 lakh followers in January and that went uh, up to 39 lakh and more followers by the 12th of May that's a 28% increase just for the Narendra Modi Twitter handle as well and Times Now's engagement with Twitter has been unprecedented and unique. We have been leading the way as far as hashtags are through this entire election coverage are concerned. There are some days where we have been the top national trend with the subjects that we've chosen to put out to you. Let's take a look at uh, some of those hashtags which have made Twitter history. The uh, mega exit polls, certainly one of them. Uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, that's the number of Twitter imp impressions that we're talking about. Uh, crore and 51 lakh. That's crazy amount of numbers. Another one, uh, 
about the poll of polls. This was just a couple of days of, ago, of course. Once again, the top national Twitter trend uh, for a good part of the day. Super NDA just yesterday. You know, that uh, caught up by evening and we had uh, 33 lakh impressions on that as well. Um, and Anand, we continue to do that. Yes, at Rahul Skip's dinner. That was late in the evening, but within a matter of two hours, over 18 lakh impressions. And we continue to lead the light because we're building up to the big climax. May 16th with order of the hashtag already trending close to about 100 tweets per minute as we went on air with this very special broadcast and as we wind up this is the request that it's May 16th it should be with Ordnop it should be here uh, on Times Now India's election news headquarters and we hope that you will be with us. That's right. Make sure you are with us. Uh, tomorrow is uh, May 16 with Arnab and we're all looking forward to your participation. Thanks very much for watching right now.